Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be testing the You Can Be Belonging palette along with the You Can Be eyeshadow primer. Now this palette is a dupe for the Urban Decay Born to Run and this is the look that I created with this. So if you want to see that then just keep on watching. But before we get into the video, don't forget that there's a button down below that lets me know you liked it, so click it if you did. And if you are new here, then don't forget to subscribe with the button in the corner or down below for new videos every Thursday and Sunday. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so first thing, the eyeshadow primer comes in this packaging. It's actually very pretty. The dress with butterflies and then the product itself it's kind of a squeezy tube thing so it says smudge proof eyeshadow primer and i'm gonna take a little bit on my hand to see how it looks so it looks almost white and i'm blending it so yeah it doesn't seem to have any coverage but it feels like it kind of smooths the area and it also smells very good and then the eyeshadow palette looks like this this is actually the box but the palette looks exactly the same so the palette looks like this and this is a dupe for the urban decay born to run palette and even on the back you have the shades in the kind of order that they are on the Urban Decay palette and then on the inside they're a little bit mixed up and you also got the ingredients and this palette is actually cruelty free which is very good and then once you open up the palette it looks like this it's got one of those transparent plastic things and you get a mirror Actually, still haven't gotten this thing out. This always feels so good. So, it's a little bit smaller than the mirror on the Urban Decay palette, but it's a very good size. So, then this is what the palette looks like. The names printed on the palette are the ones on the Urban Decay. And then especially on this side we got a few shades mixed up so i was kind of comparing the palette to the urban decay and for example these two are switched these two are switched these two but i mean if the palette is good then i guess the order <laughs> doesn't really matter too much and I'm just going to swatch them row by row, just exactly the way they are. So here we have the first four shades. That looks very good. Yeah, these shades are kind of very light. And then the other three shades in the first row. These are kind of more skin tone colors, but then these look very pretty. Then onto the second row. Wow. They all feel very soft and buttery. They look very pigmented. the final three shades of the second row wow. those look very very pretty and pigmented I'm very impressed actually now onto the final row I guess this one is a little bit weaker and also that but those are kind of matte shades and the final three shades. 
these all look really really pretty and pigmented maybe except for this one but yeah I guess they swatched very well all of them and yeah. now let's see how they apply on the eyes okay so to start I'm going to be applying the you can be primer on this lid and I'm gonna do this eye on camera also if you are wondering about my brows I'm gonna have a video coming up in the future okay, so I just blended that with the 142 concealer brush by Jessup and my lid looks a bit lighter than the other one but it doesn't have much coverage and for my transition I'm going to use the shade Weekender on me this feels like a very soft skin tone eyeshadow my crease I'm going to take the shade Hell Ride yeah, I feel like that blends very easily I'm just taking a little bit more As you can hear it, there's a very rude band playing outside and I can't do anything about it. And now I'm going to intensify my outer corner with the shade Wild Heart. On my outer corner, I feel like I want to deepen up that a little bit. I'm going to take the black shadow. Okay, and now on my like inner third of the lid, I want to take this lighter blue color. a little bit more here in the middle of that pinky shade okay so for the eyeshadow I think that is looking very nice so I'm going to throw some eyeliner mascara do the rest of my face and then I'll be right back for the lower lash line okay so I have just finished my face I've tested a brush set, a face brush set that will be coming up soon and now I'm going to do my lower lash line and for that I'm going to take this shade kind of in the outer half of the eye and then this shade in the middle and this one closer to my inner corner Now finally for my inner corner I'm going to take the shade Breakaway and I'm also going to take the shade Breakaway to highlight my brow bone and to finish this off I'm just going to apply mascara on my lower lashes okay and I also added a little bit of black on my 
waterline so I'm just going to do my lips and I'll be right back okay so I have finished all of my face and my lips and let me give you a close-up of the look so this is what the eyeshadow looks like and I have been filming now for a few hours and I think it still looks very very good okay so overall thoughts the eyeshadow primer doesn't have much coverage but I feel like it did help to blend shadows they blended very well on top of it so I will continue to test this but so far as a first impression it looks good and as for the eyeshadow palette I mean the colors are beautiful and they swatched well they applied well and I mean I can't compare it to the Urban Decay palette because I've never tried it but I mean as for this forgetting that it's a dupe is a very very good palette they all worked very well they're very pigmented I didn't notice any fallout I mean you will probably have to build them up a little bit especially the mattes but that is completely fine for the price point of this and you do get beautiful shades so I am very happy with this one and definitely recommend okay so that is everything for today's video let me know in the comments below if you've tried this one or if you've tried the Urban Decay and what you think of this comparing to the other one and if you like this video then don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe with the button in the corner or down below for new videos every Thursday and Sunday and thank you so much for watching bye